Don't miss out on the special offer from my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They're currently giving you 20% off if you use my coupon code Poodle at checkout and also giving you an additional 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden video, and today I'm going to be talking about Madden 20. So I'm going to be giving you guys some first impressions, some screenshots, some overall thoughts, what I expect, and if, I, if I'm even feeling some of the new features that will be coming out in Madden. So, guys, if you're new to the channel, drop a sub. Madden 20 should be out in about a month and um, 13 days. So that's pretty exciting, actually. I can't wait to get back into Madden and playing Madden, obviously, because it has been very boring without it. Can't play the old one. But it is coming soon. It's going to be exciting. I cannot wait to grind YouTube every day, all day, once it comes out. Now, also, guys, like I said, if you're, if you're here, drop a like. Helps me out a lot. Drop the sub for more Madden 20 comes out. And let's get into this. So, obviously there's a cover art here. I've showed you guys this before. Madden 20 will be releasing August 2nd. But if you buy it, if you buy this, if you have EA access and you buy certain editions, it will be playable, I believe, as of July 26th. July 25th. If I'm right. And EA access might even be earlier than that, but I'm pretty sure it is. You guys understand what I'm saying. So now, so now looking at these abilities, I'm kind of liking the abilities. So a lot of people are kind of not okay with these abilities but i don't see why not and for one reason right so madden always says there's no skill gap madden's not about skill madden's all get the fastest guy the best stats and just run him out i feel like you don't even need a guy with good stats you just get the fastest guy now what i like about this is that i agree i think that this is an awesome thing to do i kind of hope it is an ultimate team only for the specific reason that i feel like everyone's missing out on that the reason we like football right in real life if every player could do the same thing in real life, they just had different faces, different colors, different jerseys, different, like, you know what I'm saying? If it was just that, we wouldn't like football. Why do we like football? Because everyone has a different persona, different style of play, different, and all the superstars have different skills, right? So Mahomes' skill, he has his arm, his accuracy, and his mobility. And you, and you can no look, a lot of off the passing, finds in the pocket, but then you play with him in the game. You can't do any of that. He's no better than a souped up Matt Stafford. Then, you get Odell Beckham Jr., right? What's he known for? One-handed catches, breaking loose for 80-yard slants. Then you play him in the game. He's so tiny, it's hard to get one-handed catches because since he's so small, this game hurts you when you're small. But in real life, it doesn't matter for him. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I think it, they should have stats that improve them. So like Alvin Kamara, obviously, as you see on the screen. Alvin Kamara is one of the best, if not the best, receiving back in the NFL. But when you play with him in the game, He's no better than Adrian Peterson or Ezekiel Elliott with like a 60 catch and you just toss out there and throw it to him. They can't all run routes the same, nothing nothing different than anyone else. But now look, Satellite, Superstar X Factor, some running backs have the talent to be elite receivers when they enter the zone. Its ability increases their coverage, their success rate on possession and rack catch against single coverage. Receivers with this ability to make sharper cuts and frequently with contested catches when covered by linebackers and linemen. When lined up at running back, players with the ability have access to four additional hot routes during pre-play adjustments. So as you see this, Matchup nightmare, they make sharper cuts and frequently winning contested catches. Now as you're gonna see in the, in the next video, you're gonna be able to see what we're talking about. So in real life, Alvin Kamara lit literally makes wide receiver like cuts, cuts off the linebacker. He'll go an angle route, cuts back off the linebacker, easy every time. But in Madden 19, Alvin Kamara does a slow one, the linebacker stay with him. Watch Alvin Kamara coming out of the backfield. He will be doing a nice cut right off the linebacker. See right there, like that, that is huge. Look at that juke, look, that whole, that whole sequence was just beautiful. If you just, if you just watched that, you could never have done that in prior matches, which I think is awesome. And it's just because of these abilities right here. Now watch Ben Roethlisberger, he's gonna throw it to Juju Smith-Schuster. Another catch animation we rarely see. He obviously hasn't beat. That should be a catch every time. But in this year's Madden, all you gotta do is press any A or X and that would've been dropped, but you haven't beat. It's, it, I always find it dumb Madden that you have to have him beat by 30 yards, like 10 to 30 yards. Now watch Mahomes, watch this animation on his running out to the, on his uh, scramble pass. Watch as he throws it off the scramble right here. Look, look at the animation here. First off, you can escape the pocket right there. This is actually the bomb. All right, so that's just showing his arm strength. Watch this next video. Well, it's off the, well that's just showing off his bazooka trades, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, bazooka, escape artist, dashing dead eye. I like this, NBA has stuff like this, and NBA is better for it. Watch this pass, look how nice this looks. Right there, off the back, the inside foot. That would have been some crappy pass last year. Now we got 
again look, look at those dots watch this just look how he does it. like those are such real life looking animations i love it it's not like that's generic animation that everyone else gets and that's what i'm liking about madden right now it's looking very realistic it's not like that real time movement crap that we had last year that was garbage look 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 the space he puts that in look at that obviously an ultimate team with high high zone he probably would have picked that off but the point is it's accurate so you can do what you want and that's how players should play ultimate team obviously is going to play a little different it's going to be it's obvious because it's ultimate team and there's better stats but you look at that we got aaron donald fear monger some pass rushers intimidate quarterbacks with their sheer presence when they enter the zone they can apply pressure that's almost like that ability that we had in madden 19 under pressure look aaron donald gets into the zone right there gets behind and see, look, I like that. If he's bull rushing the line, the um, the defensive tackle, the quarterback's accuracy increases. Because last year, as long as the quarterback wasn't on you, like physically sacking you, you can throw an 80-yard bomb right there. Because that's how it is in real life. Eli Manning is the king of being flustered by that. I think there's going to be a good year where good players stand out. Not not saying good user players, I'm saying good players with stats. Nice throw. I'm, I'm just loving the mechanics. Look at it. Look how they run. I'm liking the mechanics of it. It's not that dumb running they did last year. They look like they had shit in their pants the whole time. I'm liking the whole look of it so far. Big Ben. Going to A. All right. The RPOs. I, I don't know how the RPOs are going to look. I haven't really got to put too much thought into it yet. I played football in real life, and I ran RPOs before, and I know they work pretty well, but I can't imagine. I, I feel like Madden plays like this always end up working. They work weird, in my opinion. I'm liking the layout. I'm loving the scoreboard. I'm liking all of it. It all looks good. I just need the physical control. I didn't get a beta, so obviously I, I can't try to test it for myself. It looks smooth, though. I just wish I had one in my hand. You know, Madden always looks good no matter what. It's when you have it in your hand. You can feel how they move off your joystick, how they respond to buttons, how, how everything responds. That's when you really know. I mean, RPO just look like... It looks like a play action pass quick read pretty much that's what it's gonna come down to you can also hand it off though obviously it's like i don't know i mean it, it could be cheese if you have a whole scheme based on rpos it could be so cheese run pass run pass trick play like it, it could be so cheese if you do it like that see what i'm saying but you can't just do i don't I feel like a few here and there might work but if you can build a whole scheme around it, it could be glitchy watch that especially you know what's glitchy for if the other person doesn't have if the other person not good at setting up defenses and their only good thing is their user linebacker you could trick once you trick the user linebacker you're off to the races i'm just gonna let some gameplay play over the background while i talk to you guys a little bit about how i'm feeling and what i'm thinking so as far as i said the beta code it doesn't i did not I was not able to get my hands on one i at one point contemplated buying one but honestly it's not worth it what people are saying is right you literally have three days access to a small beta where literally it's not worth it people are charging 30 40 dollars and the game itself is literally 60 so it's not worth it I'm not gonna bother. I don't need the beta code. Take me a few days to get used to it once the game comes out. I'll be pumping out content anyways, so it's not like I really care about being competitive right now. But the game so far is looking very smooth. I, like I said, I need, I need a controller in my hand to really get the full grasp of how it feels like with the joystick and how to do things. And how, you know, I just, just want to feel how smooth things feel. How, how quick you can make reads and how quick things can release off their hands. It's obviously a big part of everything you're gonna do this year. And it's always a big part of the game. That pass rushing is looking pretty good. Again, you never know. I have to see the ultimate team. Now, ultimate team, it should be exciting. I mean, I love it every year. Can't complain. I'm Just because it gets boring in March and April doesn't mean that I don't like it the first, like, six months. So, I'm not really complaining about it. Should be a great time. Looking forward to it. Now, if you guys got any beta codes, it's good for you guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. If anyone has any extra ones, let me know. I'll work something out with you guys if you do. If any of you do, I, don't, I doubt. I mean, I haven't heard anything from most of you guys. Also, I haven't posted in a while, but sorry about that. It's just that... The way Madden's been, there's really nothing left to post on Madden, and for the most part, Madden 20 News, I guess, isn't really my style on the channel just yet, especially with how small I am, so I haven't really bothered with that either. I'm doing some today, just to get some videos out. I'm gonna try to keep I'm trying to keep in touch with all you guys before Madden 20 comes out. Now, if I had a beta code, I would be playing it as soon as it opened. I'm also going on a vacation next week, guys, so as far as posting, I probably won't post much next week either. We'll be in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic next week, so I'm posting like maybe two or three videos before I leave about it hopefully madden 20 is awesome month away only thing that you know what the issue is that madden 20 comes out on my girlfriend's birthday so i hopefully i can play it at 12 midnight because i'll play all night before i have to be with her so i hope i pray and hope i don't know what the odds are to 365 days a year that it will land on my girlfriend's birthday but it did so hopefully i get a chance to enjoy this game the first day i mean the first day is huge for a content creator in my opinion plan to do this guys this is what we gotta expect from my channel this year with madden 20 Pack openings galore. 
so many pack openings. Solo challenges, how to beat certain things, the best solos to do, rewards, news, daily content, like what comes out in Madden, the best way to beat things, coin tips. I'm doing it all. I'm gameplay. I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to be a gameplay guy. I'm not going to be a content guy. I'm not going to be a coin guy. I'm going to be everything. I want to do everything because I believe if I can do three to four videos a day, I can easily handle everything with occasional gameplays, which I know you guys like seeing too. So I think if I can handle everything, it can really improve my channel. I'm going to do it all for you guys. Come and watch what you guys want to watch. Hopefully, everything goes well. Cannot wait for the start of Madden. Hopefully, you guys are all back come that time of the Madden so that we can get this going again. I'm really going to need all you guys, all 2,000-something of you guys to come back and show some support and love when it comes out so that we can get the channel getting put up there again on the homepage and getting ourselves recommended and all the things that you know we were doing at a point. Hopefully, we can get back to those days when everyone comes back. I hope everyone's going to come back. From what I've been told, it looks like Madden really takes a massive leap come the first day the game comes out and hopefully even now so hopefully you guys are enjoying this video i hope that i gave a little bit of my feedback i'm really enjoying madden i'm loving just i'm loving what the new madden's gonna look like so I'm, i have no complaints although a lot of people might have complaints i don't i'm never complaining when it comes to madden i when, when it comes out i love madden madden 19 it got boring but that is expected when you pay when you play games six months straight 31 days so many weekend leagues it, it just there's just literally no debate on why it got boring i don't know why people you can't complain at this point in the game obviously the gameplay needed to be fixed i hope they addressed it i wasn't the biggest complainer about it because i'm not competitive like obviously i'm good at the game i'm pretty good i can place top 100 in weekend league no issue but i'm not competitive like top 10 top 20 competitive guy online so like so for me it's not the biggest complaints about the i'm more of a content guy enjoying the game making the team playing with it you know i'm just there to have fun and from this standpoint, it looks really good. Hopefully, all all goes well, guys. If I, if any of you guys have a beta code, hit me up. Let me know. I'll keep in touch. I'll do what I can. I'll see what I can do to make it right. If you guys need to hook me up, if not. It's all good. I understand. A lot of people got them. I mean, I'm not. I should say I'm not big enough to know. I'm not big enough, so I know a lot. A lot of people that I know probably got them. That's it, guys. I'm pretty sure we're nearing the end of this video. I'm pretty sure we've gotten pretty long. So, if you guys are new, guys, drop a like for me, please. Also, if you guys are watching, just remember to come back day one. Probably do a pack opening first video, man. 20. Come show some love. Come drop some likes. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. And comment down below. Say what's up. Also, guys, my Twitter link is always in the description. Poodle underscore gaming underscore. Make sure to follow me on there because I will be a big Twitter presence come man. 20. Like Not like saying I'm going to be huge on Twitter. I'm saying I will be on Twitter a lot. I will be spending a lot of time on Twitter when Man 20 comes out because with all the new information, all the new things coming out, and I know all you guys are all going to be flooding back. on some, There's going to be so many new people on Madden 20. So I know that that's going to be a big time where I'm on Twitter a ton, like all day. So just follow me now if you can. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Make sure to like, comment, and sub. I'll see you guys in the next video.